Sometimes you'll want to put things into your blog and deliver from your website uh, formats that aren't supported. We've learned how to create a WordPress blog and if you highlight something to attach a file to it that's other than an image or a few other uh, formats that WordPress supports by clicking the Add Media button, you might find that something such as a GarageBand file or a Sibelius file won't attach to your blog. The reason that these uh, file types are blocked is so that you can't put up nasty viruses and things like that on your WordPress site. So the way that we get around this is that we install Dropbox. Just head to dropbox.com and sign up for an account and install on your computer. Once you've done that, you should find that you've got a Dropbox on the left hand side in your Finder window or if you're using Windows, probably under your user account. You can organize things in your Dropbox into um, individual classes or however you want to actually organize uh, your um, different information that you've got for your students. Now I've got some examples in this folder here of file types that I can't put on a WordPress blog. I've got a um, this one here is a GarageBand file. So what I might actually do is start off by uh, right clicking that and going down to Compress, Drone and Chant. I think in Windows computers it's called Send to Zip File. Uh, but you can certainly make a zip file on Windows as well as Mac OS and you can see now I've got a zip file which just makes it a little bit more um, smaller. You can see it's half the size that it was before and easy to upload. Another example is a Sibelius file if I wanted to upload a Sibelius file. So once I've done that in um, uh, in uh, when I'm inside my Dropbox I can simply right click on the um, file and then go to Dropbox and I choose Get Shareable Link. However, you might find that when you install Dropbox you don't have that option. And if that's the case, then what you need to do is go into the Dropbox website. Uh, sorry, go to Google first and just simply type Dropbox Shareable Link, just like I've done there, um, into, except I've missed the E out. Uh, into Google and you'll get a bunch of different responses here. The, the very top one uh, outside the advert is the one that you need. How do I share a link to a file in my Dropbox folder? And that's because by default I found that this option isn't actually on in Dropbox. You can only share files from the public folder but you don't want to just be limited to doing that. You want to be able to share files from any folder so that you can keep all your work organized as you see fit. Now I'm just waiting for this help page to come up. It's a little bit slow on the internet here at the moment, but okay, here we go. You can see how do I share a link to a file in my Dropbox folder? Okay, so it says yes. If it's in your public folder, you can copy its public link. But what you can do is you can also uh, turn on this new way to share your files. And to do that, all you need to do is click this link. So once you've gone to that um, page, don't worry about anything that uh, it's, it's, is listed below just simply uh, click where it says clicking this link and it will enable that option. Uh, you might then need to stop and restart Dropbox for this to work uh, properly. So if necessary, if you're not sure, just restart your computer. Now if I go back to my Finder window, I can see here that the um, zip file that I made has got the green tick which shows that it's synchronized with the Dropbox website. So if I right click on that again, and of course on Mac that's command click if you don't have a two button mouse. Right click on that and go to Dropbox, get shareable link and this time it'll open a new um, internet browser window and this will give me a link that I can share. So I'll show you exactly how this then allows me to link to that GarageBand file. Again apologies that my internet is a bit slow. Just while that's loading back in my WordPress window I've written a, a sentence which will allow me to create that link. I've written next, download this GarageBand file to improvise blah blah blah. So if I highlight the words this GarageBand file then that sort of shows that those words create a link so that they'll know to click on the words this GarageBand file to download the GarageBand file. I then click this button here which is uh, at the top which is the insert link button. It's like a little picture of a chain and I click that and it gives me a place to put my link. Now I'll just go back to that Dropbox page. There we go, it's loaded up. And you can see that there's a download button there, but here's the link that I need, a nice short link. And by the way, if you ever need to email someone a file that's too big to send by email, usually email blocks any attachments bigger than 10 megabytes. So you can use this if you've got a very big file that you want to email to someone. But in this case, I'm just going to click on that and I'm going to copy it. Use your Control and C on Windows Computer, Command and C on a Mac. And then I go into my Insert Edit Link again 
here in WordPress and I paste that link in. So I've created a link now to that file. Uh, I quite often like to tick this option here for open link in new window tab because it means that after the students grab that piece of work, they can um, simply close that window and they'll be back at your website. And I also like to give it a title, even if it's just something silly like download this file. The reason for that is that uh, disabled students, for instance, blind students with screen readers uh, can actually, they might not be able to see exactly what the link is to, but they can uh, find out what the title is um, before they actually download it. So I'm going to click add link and that's immediate and I'm going to publish that website. And this is just for your first lecture today and it's being a little bit slow but you get the idea so I'll, I'll uh, publish that up when uh, you come to my website you'll find that below the music for drone and charge you can click on this garage band file and it will automatically download that zip file from my Dropbox site um, by opening it in a separate window and then you'll just be able to click the download button so there's a practical example of uh, linking to files that WordPress doesn't allow from Dropbox and um, Hopefully that way you can put any resources that you need to up in your blogs.